Hello, today's learning objective is to know how to write numbers as a single power. But firstly, as we always do, we're going to complete the retrieval practice. Pause the video in a moment and allow 10 minutes for the task to be completed. Here are your answers. Make sure you use a green pen to mark your work and also make sure you write down any answers that you missed out. Allow two minutes for marking to happen. OK, so into the main part of the lesson and writing numbers as a single power. As we always do, we're going to write down an I do example and a we do example. So to start off with, we've got 4 to the power of 3 times 4 to the power of 2 times 4 to the power of 7. So when you're writing numbers as a single power, the first thing you look at is making sure that your base number is the same which in this case it's four and we have three of them all the same. So I'm going to start off my answer with four. Now, the next step is adding the powers together and the powers are the numbers that sit to the right hand side of your base number. So in this, this instance we've got three, we've got two and we've got seven. When you add them up, we get 12. So my answer for the first one is 4 to the power of 12. Just to recap that, the first thing you do is check your base numbers are the same, which in this instance it is, it's 4. And then we add together the powers at the top, which is 3, 2 and 7, which gives us 12. Therefore, the answer for the first that I do is 4 to the power of 12. You're going to have a go at the we do. Before you have a go at the we do, make sure you've got the I do example written down and make your way through the we do as best as you can. Please pause the video now and allow one to two minutes for the question to be completed. I hope that wasn't too difficult. Let's go through it together as a class. The first step you should have done was check that your base number is the same which again in this case it is so we're going to start our answer with a 5 because we've got 5 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 3 the next step is adding the powers together so we've got 4 plus 6 gives us 10 plus 3 it gives us 13 so the answer for the we do is 5 to the power of 13. Give yourself a mark with your green pen if you got that correct and also make sure you write down the answer if, if you didn't get it correct so you can always refer back to it in the future. We're not going to do this I do. I'm confident that you all would have picked that up so I want you to move straight on to the we do. So pause the video for another minute or two and we'll come back and look at it as a class. Okay, so this one is slightly different and I'll be really impressed if you got it right. So first things first, like we always do, we check that our base number is the same. So in this case again, it's a five. What you would have noticed is that the middle one doesn't have a power to the right hand side of it. So all you do when it's a singular number, there's only one, you can put an imaginary one. Okay, It just makes it easier when you're coming to add them up. So we've got 5 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 3. Add them up and it gives us 8. So our answer for the we do is 5 to the power of 8. Okay, so just where, where you've got a single figure, nothing to the right hand side of it, no power, you can just put an imaginary one there to make it up and to make it easier for when you're doing your calculations. Okay, so we're going to do another I do, we do example. Looking at the I do, First things first, our base number is the same. So we're going to start this off with a 4. Okay. 
we've got a 4 on either side. So we've got 4 to the power of minus 3 times 4 to the power of 7. The next step is we need to add the powers together. So we've got minus 3 plus 7. Okay, so if it's easier for you, you can use your number line. But we've got minus 3 plus 7. So on the number line, we'd move to the right. It would take us to 4. So we've got 4 to the power of 4 for the first I do example. So using the same concept, you're going to have a go at the we do. Make sure you've got the I do example written down with the answer and pause the video for a minute or two to allow the we do question to be completed. Okay, let's see how you did and if you got it right. So, for the we do, we check our base numbers are the same, which they are. So we're going to go with a 5. Okay, and then we've got minus 4 plus 3. So using your number line, you can hop to the right hand side from minus 4 plus 3, which should give us minus 1. So we've got 5 to the power of minus 1. If you got that correct, give yourself a mark with your green pen. And if you didn't, make sure you've got the example and the answer written down. Okay, on to the third and final I do, we do example. So I'm going to talk you through this as I work it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is check my base numbers. We know that by now. Okay, they're both the same, so we can write a 4 down. The difference with this I do is both of our powers are negative. So I've got 4 to the power of negative 3 times 4 to the power of negative 7. So you can just see here and here that they are both negative. Negative 3 plus negative 7 will result in a negative answer. Okay, The two negative symbols will keep the answer negative. So if it's easier for you, you can use your number line. So we've got negative 3, okay, seven spaces to the left, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That will take me to negative 10. You're working your way left on your number line, and your two negative powers will keep your answer negative. So the answer for the first I do is 4 to the power of negative 10. In a moment, pause the video, have a go at the we do example and make sure you've got the I do example written down. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. So the first thing you should have done is check your base number, which are your large numbers at the bottom. We know, we know that we do that by now. And our base number here is 5. We've got 5 to the power of negative 4 times 5 to the power of negative 3. So what we need to do is we need to add our two powers together. That, that's the next step that you should have done. So negative 4 plus negative 3. Okay, again, you can do it on your number line. You're going to hop to the left. 3 spaces. Okay, we've got minus 4 plus negative 3. Okay, apologies there, I said minus, we need to go with negative. Okay, negative 4 plus negative 3. So we're going to pop back 1, 2, 3. Okay, which will take us to minus 7. Okay, so we'll have minus 5, minus 6, and minus 7. So we've got our answer, which is 5 to the power of negative 7. Mark your answer in green pen, and also make sure if you missed anything out, that you've got it written down as well. Okay, so moving on to the main task. What I need you to do is make sure you've got the question written down. So you need to make sure that you've got question 1, right as a single power. And then make sure you work across A, B, C, D, all the way through to I. 
in the 10, 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to complete question two as well. You don't have to rewrite the question here again, but you need to make sure that all the calculations are written down, not just the answers, all of the calculations. Okay, it's so you can look back in the future and know exactly what you was working on. Allow 10 to 15 minutes for this activity to be completed. Pause the video now and we'll be back soon. Okay, welcome back. I'm, sh I'm sure you didn't find that too challenging. You've got two minutes to mark your answers in green pen and make sure you give yourself a score out of how many you've completed. So if you only manage to get through five, make sure you give yourself a mark out of five. If you got through ten, give yourself a mark out of ten. Okay? And make sure you complete that in green pen. Make sure you do any corrections in green pen and write down as much detail as you can to ensure you're able to look back and reflect and revise on your books when needed.